students are extremely frustrated. Um, they do feel discriminated against. A petition calling on the Quebec government to fund a planned $180 million expansion of Montreal's Dawson College has racked up thousands of signatures. Students and staff say they're up for the fight after Quebec changed its mind and said it wants to focus on investing in French language colleges instead of the English CGEP. They are essentially using Dawson College to say, you know, in Quebec, there's there's effectively one way that this government believes we should do things. And if other sectors of Quebec society operate differently than, than our expectations, then um, they will be defunded or, or, or marginalized or outright discriminated against. It's a real shame of the, 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 the ways that this has driven wedges and the ways that it will continue to drive wedges. Um, is is very problematic. They say the expansion is absolutely necessary. Dawson um, has has been in a space deficit, a very significant space deficit for a long time, and and it's not so that we can get more students for sure. Like we're we're not planning on adding an, a single more student. In fact, anything we're reducing. But even with those reduced numbers, we're still in a space deficit. That's how severe the space deficit has been. It's it's the most severe space deficit in the CEGEP réseau. This is uh, essentially an existential threat to the future generation of prospective Dawson students. This project, which is about more than just lack of space, has been in the works for close to a decade, and it has all come crumbling down. The expansion was set to be used as a clinic and a new training facility for med students. Simply funding Dawson to equitable norms in the Sejep Réseau would have led to um, a, you know, a sort of an innovative approach to training the future medical workers, but also a healthcare clinic in downtown Montreal. The surrounding communities, uh, regardless of, of linguistic backgrounds, um, they, they require these services. So when we talk about it being a threat or discrimination, we're talking about core services that are in demand. Um, in the health sector. The only reason that we've received uh, from, from the minister, the minister uh, herself, Madame McCann, uh, or from the government has been because uh, Dawson teaches in English. Um, and and that's, that's, a, that's a hard pill to swallow. They're getting frustrated because they're waking up and realizing my education has somehow become political and my educational choices have somehow become political. And continuing to stay at the school or graduate from the school is, is becoming more and more by the day a political decision. They won't be backing down anytime soon. I always have hope. That's why I get out of bed in the morning. Uh, you know, that's why I'm in public education. Um, I do think education can change the world, especially public education. And I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope the government will allow us uh, to do that kind of work. In Montreal, Brittany Enriquez, City News.